Investing in small businesses in 2023 Small business owners are integral to the fabric of the U.S. economy, generating millions of jobs and providing identity to the communities they serve. Small businesses have generated 12.9 million net new jobs over the past 25 years, which accounts for two-thirds of the jobs added to the economy, according to the U.S. Small Business Administration. By fostering entrepreneurship and innovation, small businesses keep local economies healthy and vibrant. Despite these benefits, Many small businesses often lack funding to sustain and expand their operations, relying on local investors to get the capital they need to grow. Investing in small businesses offers potential returns, diversification, and an opportunity to participate in the success of the American economy. This handy guide explores how retail investors could bolster their portfolios by investing in local businesses. Small business investing by the numbers ways to invest in a small business whether you are considering funding a new business venture or taking ownership of an existing one. There are typically two main options. Equity investments involve offering money in exchange for a share of the business. Through this approach, you become an owner of the company, sharing its profits or losses and possibly even participating in business decisions. Debt investments are loans given to small business owners in exchange for interest payments over a predetermined period. By agreeing to pay back the total balance plus interest, entrepreneurs maintain full ownership of the business. While each deal is unique and may include a combination of equity and debt, these two principles are the foundation of most transactions. Like any other investment, though, each option carries pros and cons. Equity investments pros cons potential for high returns may lose entire investment if business fails may be involved in business strategy last to get paid in the event of bankruptcy may receive. Dividend payments high risk debt investments pros cons lower risk than equity limited upside if business does well predetermined interest rate limited ability to influence strategy may recoup some more. All of investment if business fails return may fail to outpace inflation apart from the motivation of making someone's dreams come true. Many investors choose small business investments to generate passive income and diversify their assets outside of the stock market and real estate holdings. Owners can also allow investors to be involved in a business's strategy while potentially adding value to the local community. Who can invest in small businesses? For a long time, investing in small businesses was reserved for accredited investors or individuals with a net worth of at least $1 million, excluding their primary residence. An annual income of more than $200,000 for each of the past two years and the expectation it will continue, or those who hold certain investment licenses. Depending on the deal, Federal regulation prohibited retail investors from accessing what officials considered to be highly risky investments. However, the 2012 Jumpstart Our Business Startups Act, or Jobs Act, lifted some restrictions, allowing retail investors over 18 years of age to invest in crowdfunding platforms like Mainvest or Honeycomb Credit. Both startups vet small business owners and provide access to credit.